can see we are doing the coming out story. <laughs> I wanted to do this because I'm extra and I just thought it would be cute if I had the little flag in the back. Don't judge me. I just thought it would be kind of cute. Get right into it. It's not that intense. And disclaimer, or is that the word that I'm thinking of? I hope so. Um, I'm not going to say everything what my mom did because I don't want to embarrass her. So... I'm just gonna say the little bits and pieces, okay, okay. All right, so I started liking females when I was in like fifth or sixth grade. I was more so, I have boyfriends though, so don't get me wrong, like I still have boyfriends, but I was into girls too. So, well at least, yeah, looking back at it now, that's what it is, you feel me? So, my first, I'm telling somebody I didn't tell nobody till I was in high school because middle school was a little much for me I was doing a lot of middle school I was on a dance team I was trying to make friends because I was at a new school twice so I was like okay I'm trying to figure this out who's my friends not my friend because you know you're a kid you just want to be friends with everybody blah 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 school. well my first encounter with a girl happened most likely six great like that's what i kind of had my first little situation with a female that was cool or whatever but i really didn't know what it was i'm like, looking back on it i don't think i really knew that oh you're gonna get older and you're gonna be gay like no i didn't think that i was just more so like oh this is fun they cute i'm cute we cute like you know fast forward to eighth grade and at that point i kind of already knew i was like in females like now i'm in my mind like okay like i know what girls on girls is like i'm aware at this point so it was a girl that i knew and she came out and told people that she was bi and nobody wants to talk to her no more nobody wants to be her friend nobody wants to even associate themselves with her so to me, that was like, you know what? No, I'm not gonna tell nobody that I like girls. No, no, no. I don't want nobody to not talk to me. Like, I don't. I didn't want that as a kid. I didn't want nobody to think I was an outcast or I was a weirdo. Like, I didn't want nobody to think that. I knew she was my, but nobody else knew nothing about me. I didn't make that known. I just knew in my head, you feel me? I get to ninth grade and the school that I was going to, my sister went there. My sister has a lot of gay friends. Well, her best friend is gay, to be honest. But um, she had a lot of gay friends going when she was in high school. And my mom was just telling me, like, yeah, it's a whole bunch of gay girls up there. You better not be gay. Da, 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 da. So I'm just laughing because I'm like I, I, like, I beat you to the punch. Like, I don't know what to tell you. Like, I'm already am who I am. You feel me? At that point, I was bi. I ended up telling my sister my ninth grade year because I was like, you know what? I think this is what I really want. So I'm gonna tell you because you're my sister and I love you. Well, I have three. So I told my first sister, well not my first, but I told the first one that I was near and she was just cool with it. She was just like, that's it? Like you're just by like, that's it? I'm like, yeah, like that, that's it. She was like, okay. I'm just like, okay, girl, let's live. Like, <laughs> For real. And then I told my other sister and she was just more so like, don't tell mom. Make sure mom doesn't find out. Da, 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 da. She's going to be tripping. So she's like, no, just, just don't say nothing, whatever. So I didn't say nothing. So I'm like, okay, whatever. So I told my cousins, um, my friends knew, everybody at school knew that I was bi. It was no question that nobody didn't know. Everybody knew. My mom didn't know until... I want to say I ended up telling her I liked girls in the summer that I was going to 10th grade because at that point everybody else around around me knew but she didn't know so I'm like okay you know what I'm gonna tell my mom so I told my mom that I was by and she flipped out she did the most like she was super mad at me i don't care she was mad it was not a reason it was not a reason it was not a moment when i didn't feel like my mom was upset with me she pretty much cried she was really 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 mad we didn't she didn't talk to me for like like two months like when i mean like no how you doing how was school how 
how was your day? Do you need anything? Like, it was nothing. She said nothing to me. Unless, like, it's like a hire or something. Like, she got to come pick me up from school. So, you know, we got to say hi. But, like, that was really it. Like, she never really tried to even understand why I felt the way I did. So, eventually, I think we ended up talking about it. I really don't remember because it was a, it was a lot going on at that time. And most of it now, like, I make it a blur. So, I just be like, ugh, you know. But I do remember me and my mom having a conversation about it. And she was really mad because my mom is Christian. So, you know, in the Bible, man's supposed to be with a woman and woman not supposed to be with a woman. So she was really on me about the God thing. Like, God is this and you can't just do this. Like, how do you just, how are you going to have a relationship with God and you're doing this, blah, blah, blah. She was really, really, really concerned about being with females. Like, that was an issue, yes. But now she felt like I was interfering my relationship with God. So she was like, you know what? No, you're not going to do that, blah, blah, blah. She said some pretty nasty things I'm not going to say because I love my mom at the end of the day. And I know she was only doing that because she was upset, her religion. Like, it was just a lot for her to understand. And honestly, I feel like I'm not the child my mom wanted me to be. I, my mom didn't want me to be gay. She wants me to have a, a man and have kids and that right and for me it's like i want the same thing just not with a man i can still have my kids with my wife like i don't understand why people think like just because we can't have sex well we can't have sex but we can't have sex in order for her to give me a baby that i can't have one because it's not it's not like that i can definitely have a child i want like two of them three maybe like I want I want kids me so after that I really didn't want to converse with my mom as much because I was like you know what I don't really feel like it's no point so two three months probably two months go by I think if I'm not mistaken she finally talks to me and she's like you know what if that's what you're gonna do then you're gonna do that but you're not gonna do it at this house and I remember her telling me that and I was like you know what okay whatever and I respected it and that was that now I'm going to 10th grade and at this point boys are not something that i'm into i'm really like okay no i was trying the boys i even tried to have a boyfriend like i was really trying to make sure that i didn't like boys like i was really trying to make sure because i felt really really bad because my mom was upset at me so i'm like you know what maybe if i try this maybe i would just learn to like it like you know maybe i'll just be with a man like this this is this is what i'm supposed to do and it didn't work that way i tried i tried i can't even entertain a boy no more like it's that serious like are you serious i can't even take myself serious like are you serious girl you really think you're gonna talk to him girl girl no you're not like no at that point around my 10th grade year i was gay that's how i felt in my in my opinion I, and i'm still gay i still feel like my decision was made and my point is valid and at the, and in any given situation it don't matter i will always be gay like it. and then if i tell somebody like oh yeah i had sex with a boy and i didn't like it they're like you just ain't have to write it what the what aren't y'all understanding like i don't like man like oh so anyways and they told nobody i was gay I just said one of my sisters. One of my sisters knew that I was gay. Like, I just said, I'm gay. Like, I don't like me no more. Like, I just came out and I told her. And she was just like, I know. I'll just wait for you to tell me. I'm just like, like, you wasn't, like, what? <laughs> it was kind of funny because she knew, she, my sister knows me really, really well. So, I wasn't surprised. I was surprised, but looking back on it now, I shouldn't have been that surprised because of the fact that my sister really knows me really well. 10th grade is when I really found, I, hmm, I thought, I thought, <laughs> I thought I found the one, but that was, that was a good experience for me though. I'm not going to lie and say that it wasn't because I really learned myself throughout that whole time that I was with that person. I was really, I was with this person from like 10th grade to like, we wasn't together together. That's another story for another day. But anyway. Yeah, she was one of my first real girl experiences. Like, not real. I'm not saying I didn't have one previously when I first started in like sixth grade. But in sixth grade, you don't know that much. When you get to twelfth grade, tenth grade, 
now everything is lit. You like, oh girl, hold on, we know how to do this, we can do this, we can do that. Like, you feel me? Like you a little more experienced than you know how, how situations get. But I wouldn't I would never try to go back and change it because I feel like that really made me a big part of who I am. It was a real breeze coming out, to be honest because my dad didn't even say anything. My dad was just like, you just need to keep your grades up. I'm just like, that's it? I do that on a regular. Like, what do you mean keep my grades up? I'm already doing it. And he didn't care. He was like, whatever, I don't care who you want to be with. Like, and my dad's always like, you don't have to get pregnant. So we good. And I'm just like, I'm still gonna be pregnant. So you're loaded. Like, <laughs> keep getting off topic. I'm so terrible at this. I'm so sorry. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I told my family, I told everybody, everybody was pretty much cool with it. I never really had a lot of backlash from coming out. My mom didn't kick me out. She didn't do no weird things like that. If you feel like you're looking for love, let love come find you, because that's what I'm doing right now, pretty much in my life. I'm just letting it find me. I'm not trying to go look for it because looking is, is really exhausting and I'm kind of tired of doing that. So I cut it. Focusing on school, focusing on getting this bag, period. I'm really, really glad that you guys are watching my videos. I really appreciate it. Like, comment, subscribe to my channel if you want to see the girl come back on the channel, period. <laughs>